Today we are going to try O&R as a clay lube for the first time. Optimum no rinse. They say you can use it as a clay lube, we'll find out. We have here 1.25 litres of water with one and a half capfuls of O&R, which if you do the magic maths to do with fluid ounces and millilitres, looks, looks like it's about right. And we have also some built hamber medium clay, normal clay they call it, which I'm going to cut up now, uh, and you should see, uh, into four pieces as I recommend. Hopefully we won't drop all four pieces on the floor. I'm going to try and clay my car, which is a 2014 BMW M5 uh, in a very interesting colour. It's in pure metal silver, which is the BMW... Um, what do they call it? BMW individual colour. And hopefully you can see a little bit that the way the light sort of either makes it look all very chromey or very dark. Um, it's not like a normal silver. I don't know how well the camera picks that up. Um, there are no other silver cars in here, so I can't compare it. But when it's uh, when it's properly clean, it looks the business and it really really pops it almost looks like pure mirror reflective at times um, so we've given it a bit of a wash this morning given it you know good old two bucket method wash and uh, we're going to see what it's like uh, when we give it a clay amateur detailing time first time using a clay bar in years we've got the built hamber auto clay uh, as recommended by John from forensic detailing channel it's saying medium 200 grams, so this is the one which isn't too, hopefully this is the Goldilocks solution, right? This is the baby bear of the three. Um, cut into four is the first thing they say, so I've got a kitchen knife here. Hopefully, well, there's, there's literally no chance my missus is watching this, God. After the, uh, after the shows that I watch on YouTube, you know, watching John do 45 minutes on microfiber towels, there's no chance she's going to watch any other detailed videos. Um, so. We don't need all four bits today. That's actually quite tough to cut. Interesting. I should have brought a better knife than one you cut your dinner with. So here's your first tip: is use a uh, sharper knife. But let's get you through there. So lean on that a little bit. Just prise that apart. Okay. Now we've got a bit of clay. Great. Rest of it in the box, away, nice and safe for another day, or for if I drop this one, I have to throw it in the bin. Hopefully, you won't. So. This is quite tough as a clay bar, I would say. Last one I used, I've used three M1s years ago, and I used to have a Civic like three cars ago, and they were much less tough than this. So you hear about people saying they need a bit of a warm up, a bit of warming up to get them going. So we're gonna we'll let this warm up. Um, I'll just hang on to it for a bit. So there's your before shot. Let's have a real good look at that reflection there in that dull light. How does that look? I mean, hopefully there's not too many swirls anyway, but that's where we are to start with. Okay, that's sort of bang in the middle of where the sunroof is there. So, we're making progress. Um, can't find these blue dots I was talking about. I only found one of them on a B pillar and it came straight off. So. I don't know, maybe the last wash I did got them off, but if we take a look at the bonnet here, I've cleaned the bonnet and I think it's gone all right. If I look closely at, you know, where the light's hitting it and hopefully the focus is good there, I mean, it's it's pretty damn clear. Um, there's still a few, like, dots there, just of, oh, that's just detailing spray from where the r has gone up, from the wing I'm doing, but, um... Yeah, it looks very good. I don't think I've introduced any marring to it. I can, can't see a swell. So it's holding up all right so far. I've definitely put a tiny like hairline scratch in the, the boot lid. Um, but no, it's looking good. So I'm just gonna crack on with it. Um, just did the lower front wing a minute ago. So, you know, this horrible area here, which is always uh, getting all of, the, all of the muck flung up from the wheels. And yeah, you know, you could feel the, the bar working. Um, you know, it's coming up, it's coming up clean again. But um, yeah, you could hear it working. You could hear it stop working, and then we look at it and give it one more pass. It's coming up clean. So it's pulling it off there. 
so to speak. Um, but I found a few problems. The roof didn't go well. The roof, in fact, looks as if it's got. I mean, I think a lot of stuff bonded to it, and it may mean that I need to do a full fallout remove, get some iron X on there bleeding, and uh, I was hoping to get away without doing a detarring, like putting some of that horrible, you know, tar melter on because it always like melts everything else off the car. But the roof is not great. The roof's got a lot of black spots on it when you're right up close to it. Um, and maybe this guy's not going to be enough for it. So we'll see. I'm back. Let me tell you about two things. Firstly, when you're doing the bottom of doors and you know just hitting like the sills at the very bottom here with your clay bar it's very gratifying when it starts looking like that because you you know bloody hell there's a lot on there i'm getting it off and this thing's working so that's good second thing is i found some of that blue crap i was talking about um we need to do some zoom in and do some focusing we hope we can get it so just on the you can see it best on the black here of the wing mirror mount so I'm going to zoom right in here and see if we can grab it. Um, I think my big face in here as well. So some just here, you can see a little bit of it there. And yeah, it's all over. There's little dots all over. I'm not sure if the camera will quite pick that up. I'll, I think it does actually. So let me try. You re a little bit. And just try and see if this is going to get it off. Because I may have been getting it off. I may have been getting this off all day and not realising, so we just poke this in here a bit, obviously it's a super awkward shape to be claying. Yeah, now I can see the blue just sitting there. If I keep rubbing that, is that going to come off? See, that is, that is coming off, but blimey, oh God. So yeah, one problem with working in the garage under your flat is... We're at the front of the car, the lights don't stay on, but... Yeah, so this blue, I mean, there's one little dot there. I think you can see it all right. So, I mean, I can see it really easily back here. Is that going to come off? It's all lubricated. I'm, pushing, I'm actually pushing harder than you should here for clay. There's another one up there. And they are not shifting. So, oh no, that, that one has just shifted. And that's a lot of one, on one spots to get it. I mean, I'm not going to get that just passing over casually as you do with the clay most of the time. And... I mean, I don't think you can feel it either, or I can hear it. So that's, he's coming off, but oh, there's a few more bits on here. These, these ones in shot. Let's pull back a little bit. So back in the middle there. There's some more here. Is this going to get them off? Lots will go out again in a second. What is that? 10 passes? 20 passes? Yeah, and they're still there. So... I need to, and there's loads more like down here, so I need to find out what this blue overspray is, what it's likely to be, and figure out the best ways to like decontaminate the car because I think that stuff's going to stick around, unfortunately, and that's no good to me. So, yeah, blue stuff. Any ideas what it is? Thank you.